later became a rally car driver. Atlantic City Council members have been stripped of their take home car privileges amid an Action News hidden camera investigation that is exposing the misuse of these taxpayer resources. The city's finances are in turmoil. You know that. And now the state has planned the takeover of Atlantic City's finances. Well, four months ago, Action News investigative reporter Wendy Saltzman began an undercover investigation to see if those in charge of the crisis stricken city were using their position to take advantage of personal perks. So what did you find? Well, Jim, tonight our investigation is getting action. A year ago, council members agreed to turn in their take home cars and use them only for official business. But working on a tip, we set up hidden cameras and found one elected leader abusing that privilege at the taxpayers expense. Whereas the city is currently experiencing a financial crisis. It was at this meeting nearly a year ago. Tibbet. Yes. That the Atlantic City Council voted on this resolution to ease the financial burden upon residents, saying they do their part in reducing costs and relinquish the use of city vehicles, park them on a city lot, and sign them out for official business only. Resolution passes. Council member George Tibbet, shown here, led that charge even before when back in 2012 he voluntarily agreed to turn in his city car. So imagine our surprise when we saw a municipal car parked in front of his house during multiple random checks in the last four months. In 2012, you said you were going to return your car. So Miss, why didn't you? Miss, do this that? Is, Miss, you have to go it, back. We tried to speak with Tibbet when our hidden cameras caught him behind the wheel of his taxpayer funded vehicle after making the turn in promise twice and found him doing little work that appeared to be official. Isn't that car only supposed to be used for city business? I was just at city business. We followed him seven separate days and did see Tibbet go to City Hall for less than an hour on January 15th. On other days, we found him unloading materials from his municipal car to the home he's building, driving with his son to Home Depot to shop for more home building supplies to McDonald's and around town. Mr. Tibbetts, we'd like to speak with you, please. Even on January 13th, while the mayor was flanked by seven of the nine council members who chose to join him at this important state of the city speech about AC's pending bankruptcy. Noticeably absent was Tibbet. Why weren't you at that meeting? Because I was at work. You were at work here? Yeah, I was at work here. I have inspection dates to meet. And possibly the biggest abuse was allowing his son to drive his city owned car. Why was your son driving the car? Is that allowed? Um. Two days after Action News alerted the mayor about our investigation, Don Guardian and City Council President Marty Small called a quickly scheduled press conference. The topic, take home cars. So today we wanted to tell everyone that the cars are back in. Council President Small announced he took all keys from council members as well as spare keys from city lots. They have to go to the clerk's office first, get permission by me if it's authorized city business. Um, I will prove it. Yet the city clerk was never able to provide Action News with any records the cars were previously being signed out. There are laws all over the city that are not enforced. I applaud uh, the new president of city council for investigating this. The question now, will Tibbetts promise to only use his car for council business this third time be a charm? The car because will be at the city or in about two hours. On the eve of us making this investigation public, I received this invoice showing taxpayers picked up a $350 tab for custom reupholstery in a city car Tibbet drove last year to repair a paint spill on the seat. Then last night, Council President Small introduced a resolution to ban all council take home cars. It was unanimously approved, but one councilman was not there. George Tibbet did not show up for last night's meeting. He seemed to get a little uh, frustrated when you showed up. Yes, I think he was concerned I might have been there last night. Thank you so much.